Hello and welcome. Today we've got this 5 amp DeWalt XR battery, 18 volt. It's only shown 18.5 volts on the multimeter, it's showing 2 wires. If this was to charge the capacity, it should be showing about 20 volts. However, that's all I can get it to do on the uh, charger. It does work, but not cheap full capacity. I'm going to show you how this happens and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I've taken the screws out of this and I've just removed the top as you've seen there. And we're going to go down the banks of cells. Cell imbalance happens when uh, some of the banks of cells are a different voltage from the rest. So this is full 402, that's full charge capacity more or less. 3.7 that's quite low in comparison that there is 3.7 as well is it that's quite low as well and 3.7 and 3.7 so with one bank of cells it's showing fully charged basically when this is come up to 4.4.02 volts the charger stopped charging because it signaled to the charger the battery signals to the charger they stopped charging however the rest are not so you get these are all at nearly nearly a discharge voltage they're very very low so what we need to do is charge these four banks of cells individually the alternative would be taking them out and charge them up to full capacity and put them on, but that's a lot of work. We don't want to be doing that, but we can avoid it. We can bring them up to capacity, full capacity, with this LiPro charger. And if we were charging the full battery, we would have set to um, what it is now, 18.5 5S, but we're not going to do that. We have to set her to uh, 4S because she's really four. She's only charging four banks of cells. That's what that means. Um, so we're going to come from where. We got to get this right. So this first bank of cells was the high one. So we're taking it from here first. What do we see? We get this right. Clip on here. Well, clip on here. It's the same thing. So we're clipping on effectively here with a positive terminal and we'll go to the end of the battery with the negative I suppose wherever we can get it clipped on here because that would be as good as any just there hopefully we get a good connection there we are hopefully that's a good enough connection that should be just charging these four banks individually so we start the charger It's 4 series confirmed and hit her. So we're looking we're looking to that to come up to about 16 volts. So it's charging away there. So we'll leave it on charging a while and see what happens. I was watching back that last clip and I just saw that it hadn't shown you at all where it clipped these terminals on. This positive's going here and the negative's going here. So it's traveling. If you can see that, that's that's the connection to here, the second the positive of the second cell. And they're all connected series down to here. And that's the end of the battery going to the negative terminal, so that's where you clip it on. So I hadn't shown that properly. So hopefully that helps you if you want to do this yourself. We're coming up nicely to fifteen point eight seven there now. So hopefully that'll fifteen point nine. So we're getting there. Right, I've left this on too long because it's got the 16.77, which means the banks of cells are all up to um, 4.19. Let me show you. I'll just show you here if you can see it. I'll just switch that off. I'll just stop that. And take it off. To get a good look here. So we'll still have slight cell imbalance here unless I remedy it further. 4.15, 4.16, 4.16 and 4.17. And this end one that was a high bank is still 4.01. How we remedy that now is um, 
we change this again. 21 to 1S. Oh no, we don't change that. We change it to one lipo battery and then we go and we change the sta status down to 1S. And again, we do the same thing. We go from this side, try and get a good connection to this side. We're only charging one bank of cells this time. And this should happen fairly quickly because it's nearly up a charge anyway. So I'll put that on. We should have a good connection there and we'll try that now. This shouldn't take very long to do because like I say it's 4.01 so it hadn't far to go. And if I monitor it too but no it's coming up already like. Still charging away here and you can see that the amperage is dropping and the charger, I haven't adjusted that. That drops as we get near full capacity with this. So that's how you know it's working. So the Lipro B6 balance charger is just showing full charge there. It's made a wee beeping noise and then a full charge. So we'll just stop it here now. I'll just take it off. And I'll check this bank of cells to see how we did. Get that across like that. Let's see if we can check this bank of cells. Very close. I would, I would consider that acceptable difference, you know. So we'll put it together. Uh, it'll not need charge because it is fully charged now. Full bars as you would, you would imagine there would be. I will just put it together. Full bars, threaten the charger, it's, it's going to show it's fully charged because that's what it is. It's going to blink and then it's going to say it's fully charged. Yes. That's what you would expect. Purring tools quite well. And I must check the overall voltage of the battery. If we're right here we should be an excess of 20 volts if we've done the job right 20.5 doesn't get any better than that 20.4 20.5 doesn't get any better than that that battery's perfect now perfectly balanced 20 20 battery you make the more life out of it now i'm calling that fixed so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos